I'm making this video to address a few things that are commonly asked to me via email and in uh, the confidential consultations that I do. The first thing, and the most commonly asked, is people ask me about regarding quantum grammar. Will this work for me? If I use this, will it work for me? Now, the psychology of that is the first thing to address. This question, you would not believe, gets asked to me a lot. And what the questioner, what the querent is asking me to do is to put myself in their position and make an assumption and a guess and a theoretical, hypothetical situation that has nothing to do with this now space scenario that we are all participating in or with the participation of. So what I'll say is the way you would address this question it's like asking me if I learn how to swim, if I read all the books on how to swim and uh, will I be able to swim once I get, you know, once I jump in the water? I don't know. Will you? <laughs> it's like, or, or if you learn how to fight, like a, a martial arts or boxing. If I learn how to box, when I get in the ring, am I going to get beat up? Well, I don't know. That's entirely up to you. That's, that's you, not me. I, I can't assume anything. It's like if you go and buy a car, of course, you buy it um, on the uh, premise that the car is going to work. But there's always a chance you get in the car and it doesn't work. Or you get in the car and you don't know how to drive it. Or you learn how to drive it, you get in the car, you still wreck. You know, there's so many variables involved in these types of things. So please, those of you who have that question, please listen to what I just said and take that to heart. And it's coming from a place of love for me because I understand the psychological scenarios that the fiction system can put you in. Believe me, I still deal with it on a daily basis. It's just something that happens because it's all around us all the time. It's tough. It's tough to control your environment. But what you can control is the way you navigate. For sure. Oh, another question people will ask me is, are you authorized to do what you do? Authorized by what? Are you authorized to speak English? Are you authorized to speak Spanish or French? I mean, what is authorization? Authorization is knowledge. And in this construct specifically, if you have the knowledge, which you can look at my YouTube channel, my knowledge is certifiable and you have the honorable volition, correct volition and the grace and the rule one rule equal performances then you are navigating with your own authority and that's what I teach in my workshops I want to teach people who want to learn this who are galvanized to learn it to be autonomous so that they don't ever have to look back and say, Jason, is it okay if I do this? No. No, man. You are the authority. Ask yourself if you're okay with it. If you're okay with it, you're okay with it. As long as you're not harming anyone else, you're fine. And that's, how, that's the wonderful thing about this technology. The technology of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. But as far as my construct goes, I am autonomous in this construct. And, of course, I am a tenant with the OITI usury 
of the technology um, under the honorable and graceful performances, of course, because the copyright copy claim holder of the technology is Colon Russell hyphen J Colon Gould. Much honor to that man. Uh, but other than that, I'm autonomous. I do my own thing in the confidential language tutor in the public on the YouTube channel. And that's that. Knowledge is authority. So, all right. Have a great day, and I'll be creating some new grammar videos in the near future. Aloha.